the, this proposal comes from the council on the, you know, the, on the future of Korea. And we studied our in a very you know, typical problem in Korea. Okay? We are strive toward you know, fostering growth. But the, now new growth is not creating jobs. At the same time, we should comply with Copenhagen in a, a standards of whatever. That there is a satisfying growth, job creation, and environmental integrity simultaneously has become great national task in South Korea. But it's not limited to South Korea. It's a kind of global agenda. And think about this kind of very ideal situation. You, put, you make a 50% reduction in resource input, yet create a 20% increase in job creation and 50% increase in economic value. I know it is very utopian and idealistic, but there is kinds of things we wanted to really achieve. But when we look at the so-called existing global governance structure, we have some gaps. Every country has been pursuing very fragmented approach, and we see very weak horizontal cooperation and vertical coordination from the international organizations all the way down to individuals has been very, very fragile too. The how to overcome these kinds of issues. Uh, we're thinking about you know, strategies. Obviously, most important thing is technology, green technology, particularly if you can come up with some kind of synergistic green technology that can combine nanotechnology, IT technology for monitoring, whatever. Then I think we may find some clues but at the same time, we need to some fundamental shift in social paradigm for wise consumption and conservation kinds of things through education and the spread of, of saving mind. Uh, but another one, as was discussed during the you know, Copenhagen Climate Summit, whole issue of the sharing. Okay, there is a big technology divide, green technology divide between the rich countries and the poor countries, and how to come up with the resource sharing. As those things seem to be very, very important one. Then who are the major actors? In resolving these issues, you know, we have a collective action dilemma. Therefore, certain individual countries, uh, willing countries, uh, should take initiative, form an alliance with NGOs, even private green entrepreneurs, firms, research and you know, development institutions, and try to come up with new kinds of institutional governance. It may not be easy, but we can really come up with some kinds of so-called uh, institutional niches from which we can forge new pattern of cooperation and coordination that can enhance horizontal cooperation as well as vertical coordination. And then, what kinds of proposals do we have? You're getting into, I'm speaking fast. <laughs> Voila. One important thing is this, you know, we all know that Copenhagen Accord was weak, okay? But there's a man we should you know, understand the mandate to strengthen the Copenhagen Accord in a much more positive way that involves international cooperation. Another one is the whole issue of global sharing. How do you come up with new technologies? And how to share those <laughs> new green technologies with developing countries too? and how to come up with some kinds of global institutional <laughs> mechanism that can boost new paradigm shift for wise consumption and resource conservation. And also here, most important thing is leadership commitment. Without leadership commitment, it would be extremely difficult for us to foresee any kinds of you know, tangible result. With regard to that, you know, this is a magazine called the Quarterly English Magazine called Global Asia. President Lee myung of South Korea wrote a very, very interesting piece. It's called, the title goes like this, Shifting Paradigms, The Road to Global Green Growth. In this article, he made a very interesting proposal. His government is willing to create the Green Growth Research Institute, which is truly international. Okay? And then South Korea is willing to serve as hub state for creating and the fostering new technological innovation related to the green growth. And another one is that South Korea is willing to serve as a bridging state so that South Korea can, be, can serve as a, some kinds of spreader or sharer of this new technology with our developing countries. And also, the, in that article, you know, President Lee Myung-bak argues that he's willing to take a me-first approach. In other words, he's willing to take a initiative, voluntary initiative in doing that. That means what? He's willing to come up with the money. 
budget for this project. Okay? Therefore, my basic idea is this. Let us form a coalition with World Economic Forum, and then South Korean government and World Economic Forum can push for these ideas in such a way creating this new novel idea of green responsible growth. Thank you. Good.